Hey guys, it's Crystal here with Art It Out, and it's first impressions today, and I have actually two. Um, I've been wanting to get a hold of some of these for a while. Um, I've seen them played with a little bit, and I just thought, ooh, how fun. So, I got these extremely cheap off of Amazon. So, yay, and a Amazon Prime. Um, if I remember, I'll put them in the down bar. I also got these on Amazon, and they are for Lindsay, Lindsay Magicals. Lindy's Magicals. This is the Autumn Leaf set. You get five in there. And these are cheaper than the Color Burst by Ken Oliver. Um, even on their normal prices, the Magicals are cheaper than the Color Burst. Um, I went and got both because one, I wanted to try and to see the difference, and yeah, and because I really wanted to, and I had a few dollars extra that I've been saving, so that's what I got. I bought, and I thought you guys would be interested because I haven't played with anything like this. This is um, Color Burst Brights. And I do like about these right off the bat is on the back there there's some color burst techniques. I think it's really cool that they actually tell you. I knew I think all of these, or I've seen people do them, but I like that that they give you some examples on how to use their product. I love that. That's one thing I gotta say about art supplies that I don't like is they don't give you um, a lot of directions. And the Magicals here, this is actually how it came to me in my Amazon box. Um, so I didn't bother opening with this. Um, I have not tried these out yet. I did take these out and put a thumbtack in, my, in the um, top to make a hole for me to dust with these. Because otherwise, I yeah, I would get these everywhere. Um, and they don't come with a sprinkly top. This is just an open open little case so let's get started I'm very I've been really excited about trying these so we've got color burst and Lindsay's so magicals this is not watercolor paper but it's really thick um, good mixed media paper um, so we're gonna play with that ah, yay so, the autumn selection I got has, what is this one? Um, pines, olive, copper, brown. We've got an orange, we've got a teal. Hey, mommy. We've got a, which one's that? That's a red hot one, which is red hot poker orange. And then. This is like a pink a peak. A so I did get different. I didn't want to get the exact same colors on them both because um, I wouldn't use them. You know, I only use one color. So, so let's get the color burst out. We've got crimson, orange, yellow, green, a blue. I love this. This is pretty. So. Yay, I'm excited. I got a water spritter spritter. I got a water spritter. Water spritzer. And of course you can use these in a watercolor. Um put them in a little pan and then spray water and use them like literally a brush of watercolor. Um so this is how this tip is and you poof it. It doesn't take much. I'm actually oh god, I did a lot. Um, I don't know exactly how much is too much, so there's the pink. Well, it's not pink, it's is this screw on. Okay, this is crimson, and we're going to go with the autumn maple crimson over here. Like I said, I just took some tacks, pushed them all the way through. Um, I'm hoping this works. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, I thought maybe I would have to maybe p poke another hole. Um, it doesn't work as good as the uh, color verse, but I think it will when time goes by. So 
so. And let's go with some yellow, right? Or should we just stick with the one? No, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to stick with... I can see a little bit where it's at, but I can't see a lot of it. So it's kind of a guess destination on this one. I don't have a yellow over here, so let's go ahead and go with the... We're going to go with the blue. No. Go a little bit with the orange. Oh, I guess that's what I should have done. These definitely don't come out as easy as that, so I think I'm going to have to put a bigger hole or maybe actually open it up because it's got this film on it too. Alright, are we ready guys? I'm excited. Here we go. Isn't that freaking cool? I need to actually buy me a spritzer. Um, I thought this might be better than my one I have, but I could be wrong. Oh, that is cool. Let's see here. Yeah, that works a little bit. Isn't that freaking awesome, though? So fun. So bright! Oh, those are cool. Now, this is totally different. Theirs um, didn't smush out, as my opinion. Those got a little bit of other colors in there. Um, so that's kind of neat. Definitely different. That's more red in that one. Maybe. Oh, come on. So. Magicals. Eh. So far for the that technique. I love you can see all the little textures on them. Excuse me, guys. My allergies are driving me up the wazoo. So, I'm just going to let that roll off of there. Let me bring it up. It's so cool. That was, I, I like it, but this is the one that's making me go ooh dee dee oddity. Truth be told. I'm going to set this over off to the side, and I'm going to dry it, maybe. This one is just gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and let the water drip from that one. I mean, that one is just, oh, look at that. It is so pretty. So, which is, color bursts are more expensive than the Magicals, but... You get what you pay for. I've learned that with with art supplies. All right, guys, they're pretty dry. I just wanted to show you. Beautiful. I love how it spiders out. It looks really pretty. These autumn colors are pretty. I will say with the Lindy's or the Magicals, they have the shimmer to them, a light sparkle. Um, so yay on that. Um, so pretty. Now let's move on. We're going to separate these here. Or I'm going to forget which ones are which. I got another piece here. I cut it up. Here we go. Alright, so obviously watercolor like I just did. Or you can put some in a little in a little bowl and brush with it. Um, I'm looking at different things here. Just different things with them. So I want to use the, try the blue. This time I'm going to spray the water first. And then we're going to put the blue and probably purple on top. So we're just going to wet the paper. Like I said, this is not watercolor paper. But it is a good mixed media um, paper that I have. So, color burst. Look at that. I mean, I barely... Oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's so friggin' cool. See, that's what I seen, and that's what made me want to try these, was that. That cool, just that, just so cool. Now, we got a little bit over here from the color burst. Now, see on these, I've learned um, to, to, be, to be poppy teal. If you look in the coloring, um, and it could just be this this one um, it has several different colors in in it um, that's why we got a little yellow on that one 
Uh oh, I think I just broke my wood. Maybe not. Um, you guys probably can't see it, but there is, you can look and you can see the different hues in it. So that one doesn't quite go splintery. I think it isn't quite splintery as the other one. Oh my god, that is just so pretty. Different effects. I love it. I think we're, let's try some of the violet. Okay. It comes out really quick, guys. Even just barely touch it. Oh my goodness. I can just see so many cool things with this. I'm loving it. And a little bit more over here. We don't have a purple over here. So I'm thinking we're going to, let's go ahead and add the, some of the, the, more of the, and this does not want to come out very good at all. I don't know. Could be because I do have the, this on there. So, I kind of left it because I didn't want to waste any of the. See how all that stuff's on there? Yummy! We're gonna leave that. And you see how it all just came out. So yeah. I don't know which one is, I think in the, this one's more powdery than that one, but who knows. I love the color burst. This has got a cool look going too, but I'm really liking this. I mean, how could you not? Look at that! That is a piece of just, oh, I love it! So definitely we'll buy more, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the butt. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Cause I can. Um, I will see me, I definitely buy some more color bursts. Um, I'm loving the look of it. So. Magicals, eh. I mean, eh. But I'm loving the, the look of the color burst. So, fun. Now, do I want to move it around or do I want to leave it like that and dry them? I'm debating. Let's see here. I'm just going to get the water here and just kind of play around a little bit. So, just some really, I mean, wow. Very fun. Look how, just how pretty those are. Man. Ugh, gorgeous. I'm actually going to, I think, dry these up like they are. I love that look. And then we're going to be back. We're going to try mixing some in some texture paste or some gesso. See what kind of what those look like. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Alright guys, two more pieces of paper. Now we're going to try it with, um, it says you can mix, I know the... Uh, color burst, and you can mix it with, um, oh, wait a maybe not. Well, I don't know. We're going to try mixing it with gesso, because I think most of us have gesso. Um, so, let's try mixing. I'm going to mix one of each in gesso, and try it, and then we're going to, I'm going to try a different medium that's kind of like a matte gel, but I'm not going to use matte gel because... You know, I, I don't want to. We're going to try to mix it with some of those glass beads. So, let's have some fun. What color, what color? Let's see. We did the green in... Yeah, let's do green. I don't see a lot of green here. Okay, let me get away from there. For oh, Okay. Now, oh, can you guys see the paper over here? I hope so. Okay, I'm just going to do just a little... One, one two little... Two little smooshes and then the magicals okay I know I've seen some of the hmm maybe I know I've seen <sighs> magicals that have the shaker tops um, I know I've seen them so I don't know if that's a specific one but Alright, so there's that one. You see the color burst is already bursting with color. I think the name of those work um, is top notch on there. The Magicals, um, if you like glittery, that would be something. 
You can really see the glitter on the other pa pages. So let's do the color burst first. And this is just uh, ge white gesso. Um, it's Hobby Lobby's brand. Um, very pretty. So it mixes well with... Mixes well. That's a beautiful color. So that can be mixed. And it mixed really good. Um, I didn't even really mix that very well. You guys seen. So I mean if you mix it a lot. Well, even a little bit more you would get none of the splotches that the color burst does. So which is good to know. So that's beautiful. Now on to the magicals. Now this one's harder to mix up as you can see. It's really not mixing very well at all. There's a little bit in there. I'm trying to keep that out of there. Go ahead and add some more on it. Maybe. Wait, it's looking at my just, oh my gosh, really? I might give these damn color magicals away because they're annoying the shit out of me right now. And it takes a lot more of the product, in my opinion, than others. Than the other. So, magicals are cheaper, but I think they are more costly. Um, they don't work as well. And I'm mixing the heck out of it, so you're gonna, you still get some of the. I mixed it up. You still get like the color streaking in it. Which can be a cool look in itself, but I had to put a lot in there to get it that color. So, there's that. I'm assuming the same will be said on, like, this is glass beads. The reason why I'm trying it with this glass beads instead of, like, texture paste is because this has basically got the glass beads with a gel mat in it, is what I want to say. Um, let me get a clean thing here. I'm just going to put it down a little section there. Um, and the reason why I'm trying it is because I do have these and I don't use them. Um, and the reason why I don't use them very much is a two part. Well, no, really one. They take forever to friggin' dry. The glass uh, beads do. So, let's try this. Um,. We, do, we, we haven't done just orange, we did green, but not just orange, so let's try the orange. I just literally, all I did was tip it over. I do not squeeze it because I don't want that much out. Um, definitely a pain in, the pain in the butt. But I'm afraid if I take them and I, and I like, ow, I just cut myself, shit. Dang it. I cut myself with a palette knife. Look, with a palette knife. Something simple. All right, this is just. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Tell me, get rid of those. <laughs> uh, I'll get it for me in a minute. All right, I want to get this done now. Bentley Boo. You want to get mommy a band-aid? A band-aid. You need a band-aid. Yeah, I do need a band-aid. Alright, I'm going to try the first with the, the magicals first. Because um, they're sitting here. Now the orange mixed up a little bit better in the glass beads. Um, I'm just kind of grabbing it since I hurt myself. Um, there was no green over there, so every time I actually throw out um, some of the magicals, I get more than what the color says. So um, this is just me, guys. I'm not paid. Nobody sent me these. It's just me trying them on my own. Um, so yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I've noticed that with so with all the colors, so. Now this one is the color burst. I'm trying. I'm not mixing up as good because it's kind of hard to mix up with the beads. 
but if you mix it, you still get some really cool colors. Pretty orange, I gotta say that. But it is a bright orange, so. There we go. Let me get doctored up by Mr. Bentley and we'll be back. Alright guys, one thing I have seen them do, um, especially with the um, color burst, is they put this, they put it down. I'm gonna move this one. And then they color burst over it and then boom, and it's it looks freaking awesome, so. Yeah, it says, try stenciling with color burst. Simply lay your stencil on a watercolor paper, sprinkle on a bit of color burst, then mist with water, remove, remove the stencil to reveal a brilliant stencil image. All right, this is not one of my, this is one I got from Happy Mail. It's pretty in intricate, but I love it. I don't got to use it. So, let's try it with the color burst. Um, I love in the purple. The purple is just gorgeous, I swear. Okay. Sometimes it comes out pretty quick, guys. I like to shake. I don't like to squeeze too much. So. Alright. I hope that that's good. I don't know if it is or isn't. Let's put a little yellow in. Screw it. Kind of hard to know how much you need, right? So, all right, water. Are we ready, guys? We are ready. Back up, Bentley. I'm gonna zoom in on this for you guys. What? You be super spy. Mmm. All right. I don't want to really want to move it, but we're gonna move it over there. All righty. Here we go. I think I put too much on, guys. <laughs> I think I may have put too much. Okay, I'm going to take Ness's remove the stencil. There you go. Well, it didn't work perfectly. Um, but in my opinion, for my first try, not bad. It did do what it's supposed to. I think it's just my bad on probably the amount of water. I don't know, but it's cool looking. That is just, I love that. And that just, oh, I love it. It's just super fun. So, it can be done with the color burst. Um, I think it's something that you'll need to practice to do. Just like with any stencil, you know, it's, it's, it takes time to do. So, let's move this one over here. Um, I just do that on there because I didn't want to lose my the colors here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I just love it. Really liking the color burst, guys, which it figures because they're the pricier ones. And nobody, I have not found the color burst in any. What the heck did I get? Um, in any. Oh, what am I looking for? Um. Man, what's the word I'm looking for, guys? In any um, store, like Hobby Lobby or Micros, where I could use like my 40% off, I have yet to find them there. So that's kind of that kind of irritates me because I can't get them really cheap like I normally do. So something that I'll have to save up for. Um, but this set, like I said, I think it was 20. 22 I think I'm not for sure I'm horrible remembering the the cost of shit so or I'm gonna do the same stencil if I can get it dried off enough um, I've got a mess going on and I do apologize it's just ugh. If it ain't one thing it's another okay I think that's pretty pretty dry Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. I don't have um, purple, but I wanna try the brown. We haven't tried the brown, or the copper, I guess. Um, 
so. Alright, this doesn't come out as good, so. Alright, let's try this. A lot less on, so. Not 100% now. But, it kind of worked. Not nearly as good as that one. But, it's all on. Who you know and who you blow, I don't know. Pretty colors though. For autumn colors, they're gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'm just throwing this down because I don't like wasting. So, yeah, I would say not really for that. But that's just my opinion, guys. As you can see, this is all just me. My first impressions of them. Um, that's all it is, like I said, that I'd share with you guys. My first testing out type of thing. Um, so let me clean up a little bit. And we're going to go through and just uh, see how, activate, how much they activate after they're dried, too. Alright guys, don't mind Bentley crying in the background, He's, he got in trouble. So, these are the, the Magicals, these are the Color Bursts, I gotta say, on first impressions, I love in the Color Bursts, um, I love how it bursts with color, the name says it all. Um, now the Magicals, um, like I said, I don't like their jar, um, they're hard to get in and out without making a mess. But if you like a, they're magical because I think it's because of their, their shimmer. And I don't know, you guys are going to be able to see it. But there is a shimmer in, in the magicals. Um, I like them on their own. They're neat. Um, and that's just, that's really pretty too. So I will use them, but I think when I go to buy, if I want more color, I think I'll stick with the color burst. Um, the Magicals are literally almost like a watercolor. They just, they look, in my opinion, more watercolory um, than the color burst. That's just my thoughts. I'm not in, um, I color, watercolors are newer to me. I don't know really anything at all about them. Um, besides a few times that I played with them. So, and I know the stencil didn't really work very well. Um, as well as the color burst did. Like I said, I think it's something, like with any stencil, you have to practice to do them, you know? If it was extremely easy, everybody would be doing it. <laughs> so, I like it. Now, I did on here, it said, if you took... I'm going to go to two darker colors. Um, if you took and you put water on top of, this is dry, so first one we did, and I drew, I drew it. I drew it really well, guys. I dried it extremely well. So, let me get these. There we go. Um, to start this off, like, with just a page and mixed media, I think would be friggin' fun. Um, I like that thought. So, now I said you can do drops of water and then let them sit and then like do kind of like the, in my opinion, the, what is it, uh, the distress kind of a look. Um, I'm trying to see if I got a, because it'll come off of it. So we're going to try a couple bigger watermarks here on both. I can see the color burst reacting already. Um, so, let those sit a second, and we will try, um, yeah, if you can do kind of a technique like that. Since you can, but that doesn't mean nothing, you know that. Alright, let's see here. Yes, do you see where the water droplets pause? So you could do a lot of different things with them knowing that. 
Um, those are pretty much not really very reactive. I don't even see where I did it at, so. Um, yeah, so there you go, you get more reaction out of that one. Um, I'd like to check and see like if we used um, matte gel, matte medium on top of them, like if you were gonna put stuff on top, I wanna try putting a little bit of that on there. Um, because I need, I need to know that for when I do my layers and stuff, and you guys should want to know that too. So, I'm going to pick right here, and I'm just going to use some scrapes here, and it does react. So I'm picking up, not so much reacting to what's behind it, but any of the little pieces that got left. So, you're going to have that, that. This isn't a horrible thought, but it does, it does matter. Um, I'm going to put that on the back here. Get rid of that. Let's try. Let me wipe this off. Let's try it on here. I'm probably the same thing. The little pieces that didn't get. Alright, here we go. I'm going to just... This one doesn't react as much, but you see I'm still picking up a little bit of the color. Um, so if you just do it roll light over, you won't have that problem with it smooshing. Um, and just on your color brush, make sure all the little specks are gone. So there you go. I hope you guys like this. I know it's... I don't... I know a lot of you like when I share um, getting new things. First impressions. I always... No offense, guys. I always feel like a re doing these because... I just feel like I'm like a fish out of water, you know. I don't feel uh, like I do them very good justice, but I want to share with you guys what I what I got and what I learned. So there you go. I hope somebody out there might have found this uh, interesting. If you're thinking about which one to get, um, that might help you. So color burst magicals. Me personally, I'm gonna spend a couple more dollars and get the color burst. I like how they react. Loving their colors. Just, I like it. Now, if you like a little more of a glittery, more of a watery color, I think the Lin the, the um, Magicals by Lindy's would do it. I will put both in the down bar. Because, I, excuse me, I got them both off Amazon, guys. So, it's been a while since I ordered. So, I don't know if the prices are the same, but I will put them in. Have fun this week, guys. Have fun today smile enjoy the day because you never know when it could be your last happiness to you go make a mess and art it out guys bye